Today we will begin reading chapter 5, Pompeii and Everyday Life, Roads, Bridges, and Aqueducts. Normally we would review our earlier vocabulary, uh, but today we are going to skip that. We are going to start with the new vocabulary for this chapter, and when we finish, uh, I will ask you to go to Quizlet and practice the vocabulary for the entire unit. So let us begin. Our first word in chapter five, uh, or phrase rather, is a resort city. So it's a type of city. Uh, it's a noun. It's a city that people go to relax or have fun. All right, it's a resort. That's, that's what a resort means. It's kind of a vacation. Our next word is amphitheater. I'll say it one more time. Amphitheater. An amphitheater is a noun. It is a round building with rows of seats and a stage, usually. All right, so it's a type of theater. Ancient Rome built a lot of these, and Pompeii had one as well. They had a large amphitheater that around 20,000 people could go to watch uh, gladiator games. Our next word is debris. Debris is a noun. And it, it means, it, it describes small pieces of waste or trash or of something that has been destroyed, like a building. The sentence reads, it was buried under 10 feet of debris and people eventually forgot about it. Our next word on this page is archaeologists. Archaeologists. Uh, and they are, uh, it's a noun, and an archaeologist, singular, is a scientist who studies human history and looks at the pieces that were left behind. So pieces of pottery uh, or buildings or, or anything that was left behind. Archaeologists found something amazing when they began to uncover the city. Our next word is petrified. That is past tense for the verb petrify. And what that means is over a very long time, uh, it's to turn something that was dead into a rock. Okay, so it turns living or, or, or dead, dead tissue into hard rock. And the picture underneath, you can see a petrified human. Archaeologists even found petrified bread still in the ovens that had been baking the day that the volcano erupted. Our next word is engineers. All right, engineers, it's a job, it's a noun, um, and, it, and it, it describes a person uh, who designs machines or buildings, um, you know, or basically who builds things, uh, even computers, computer programs, those are all engineers. Our last word for the chapter is channels. Channels are kind of like a, it's a noun, and they're, they're small canals that water can flow in. Okay, at this time, please go to Quizlet. I want you to spend five minutes. I will be recording uh, what you do on Quizlet today. Um, make sure you study the whole unit cards, and that has the vocabulary words for chapters one through five in them. After five minutes, please come back and continue this zaption. Good luck.